Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys we are playing the Marauder 2 because it's fresh, it's new and it's shiny. I like that design of the mech, it is so damn amazing. What are we doing today? We are taking the 4 HP, the one that has all the missile hard points that you will ever, ever need. And uh, yeah, we are playing it with an SRM build here. I'm very well aware that I'm not on 100% uh, in terms of tonnage, um, but I, I don't care, honestly, I don't care. So for all of you with OCD or all of you who are like, no, this is not a viable build, Barra, dude, you're doing it wrong. Um, it's working, guys, trust me, it's working, nonetheless. Now, what are we doing here? We have eight SRM-6s with Artemis, and that is 103 Alpha Strike. It is amazing. You shoot left side, you shoot right side, you shoot left side again, maybe one times right side again, enemies are dead. That's what you do. Of course, the drawback is that you have rather poor mobility of 52 kph, and uh, the heat management is rather bad. So just try to kill the enemies before they can even get a shot on you, and uh, then pull back, cool down, and keep going from there. This is just, again, a huge, huge burst build, and it is ridiculous. You will see that in the games. We are running a standard engine because we want to have all the slots available and if you like to run a light engine with more speed, you can easily drop the SRM6 down to SRM4 so that you have enough room for a light engine and then you can, you know, build around the mech. I'm going for a heatsink here because I wanted that heat management. Guys, if you like to build a mech in a different way, you could drop leg armor like that. Okay. Uh, maybe even like, like that. Okay, and then go for, I don't know, maybe another jump jet here. And you can also take another like half ton or even ton of ammo by dropping the legs down uh, even further. It is a critical number here, I would say. So 65 is what I would advise you taking. Um, and then, you know, go for half a ton, something like that. And upgrade the legs to a reasonable number again, something like 71. So that would be another variation of the build that includes now two jump jets for quote-unquote pop tart you can make little jumps with that over a ridge to get some srms down and it also has more ammo but it has even worse heat management which is sometimes difficult anyhow let's take a look at the skills before we dive into the games as you can see we have the left side of the firepower tree filled with missile rack missile spread and of course the high explosive nodes as well as heat gen and that is again what you really need a heat generation or the, the heat management in general. We are also a super hard frontliner, therefore maximum survivability, that is what you need to get uh, as many HP as possible on your mech. We also have some structure quirks. No wait, no, this variant doesn't have the structure quirks, never mind. It has so many, so many weapon hard points that PGI decided, nope, we don't make it tanky on top of that. Uh, we also have the full cool run here, again, heat management, that's what we need, and rated deprivation on top of the double cool shot and UAV build here. That is it. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now. And if you have that, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, the first game of the day. We are playing the new map, Hibernail, Hibernal, Hi how do you say that? It's the new map, it's the new map. It's bright and you get snowblind here so easily. So what you can do to mitigate that is you go to Heat Vision. I think PGI really need to fix that map. They really need to do a rework on the brightness here. Uh, because otherwise we will, we will not really be able to play this properly. Everybody will play it in Heat Vision anyway. So yeah, we are doing it too. Uh, there's a big, big blob up there. It's a Bravo Marauder. Ooh. Nobody wants to contest him, right? But I think we have to. We have to just eat the damage to get to the front line somehow. Ouch. Or we stick our light mix at them, if there are any. But no, this is day one. This is day one after patch. Nobody's playing light mix today. Everybody is playing their new toys. The Marauders, obviously. What do we want to do here? Uh, obviously, we want to sneak upon the enemy. By the way, this is a landed dropship here. It's not really landed. I think it's rather stranded. And uh, yeah, as you can see, this is the, the, the re... re what is it called? Re-skin, I think. Okay. Uh oh, reskin of um, the Canyon Network. That is what we are playing at here. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Don't stop in a choke point. Please don't do that. Okay, we go for him now. Go for the leg on Delta. Dude, what? Enemy clearly in front of you. Kill him. Thank you. <laughs> No, <laughs> what were you doing there? <laughs> Just stopping for a second, taking a break. I'm sorry, I don't want to be condescending, but... Ooh! Ooh! That freaked me out hard. Uh, I'm, I'm also getting... I'm also getting shot everywhere. Okay. You! Okay. Uh, we are going over to this guy. We shoot him a bunch. We kill him a bunch. It's just so much damage that we do with this build here. It is just ridiculous, guys. Look at that. Bam. Bam. 
Dead. Almost. Mm-hmm. Down. And uh, I cannot do this, sorry. I have to stay in heat vision, although it bugs me hard. Um, yeah, this is uh, what we do, guys. We we just uh, close up on an enemy or piranha. Guys, careful. The positioning today is really horrible on everybody. Uh, maybe including me. Down he goes. Yeah, wow, German is snatching the kill here. Alright. It's just so easy. If you can get into your spot... You just drop the enemies left and right. It's just not, not even... It should not be allowed, honestly. <laughs> there should be something against it. Oh, man. I'm sorry for that little outburst here. You know? It's just... It was just a very, very bad behavior of the guy. Just stopping in that choke point. And, um, you know, not shooting the obvious target in front of him. When we were almost downing him. Alright. Down they go. And now it's 8 and 4. We have a Mist Lynx up there. No, not like that. Um, I need to find another angle on this guy. Maybe if he pops up again, maybe I can then shoot him once or twice. Will he? Yeah, he will try to uh, engage here on the right side. Or disengage here to the right side, right? Uh, now he is full engage on the Marauder. Oh, that's interesting. What about the Catapult? We need a bit more range to actually shoot him. Like that, like that. And the side also should be open now. Oh, wow. He stopped there on the little rock thingy. Yeah, this is uh, not completely Canyon Network, guys. This is a little bit different. Because we, we have some we have some obstacles here going on. Okay, we got that guy. And uh, you cannot really move freely here. There is a lot of stuff going on there. There are some rocks everywhere. Then we have that dropship. There are a lot of blockers in the game. Uh, on the map. Alright, we need like 283 meters. I'm a bit closer. Hello, Mr. Shadowcat. I think we got his leg. Uh, this guy is not really relevant to the fight anymore. Should I try to get the kill? Sure. Let's do it. I'm down to 56 missiles though. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Down he goes. Maybe I should have shot somebody else, but I think it's not gonna be relevant anymore. No. 20 missiles left, and I think we're gonna go for it now. Hello, misslings. Got him. That's my last blast. And now we're out of ammo. Sure, we are a bit short on ammo here, but when we get to that point, the game should be over anyway, because this map is so escalating. If he gets into a... or if it gets into its right spot... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I have no, gu no guns anymore, guys. You gotta do it. <laughs> uh, but if, it, if it's getting into the right spot, it's gonna be devastating. You will see that in the end game there. Uh, in the end screen. Brain, brain is not working today. Not properly. But hey, I think I get my point clear here. And uh, we had a good game on, on the battlefield here. Good job, team. Good job. I think it was closer than necessary. That's because we uh, we had to not... Yeah, we had a good early game. But yeah, we, we could have gotten a better early game. That's what I mean. We could have gotten the kills faster if we were in uh, the position that we needed to be in quicker. Anyhow. We had two killing blows, seven assists, two kill most damage dealt with 1202 damage. Sorry for the team damage, guys, but uh, we also destroyed 10 components, and that's the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, the second game of the day. We are playing Hibernal Rift again, and we are playing uh, Assault. So, let's get it going, guys. Let's uh, dive down to the canyon. Let's sneak up upon our enemies and uh, just destroy all of them. Man, I love the build. Actually, I was very hesitant when I was first looking at it, and I'm like, eh, does that work? But actually, the amount of burst that you can just throw around just absolutely makes up for the relatively poor heat management that you have in the long run. You just kill before the enemy gets a chance to shoot back at you. Granted, of course, the drawback or the, the weak point of the build is the poor mobility and um, the poor range uh, in combination so getting into position is a struggle but when you get there oh my god that's so good uh, they have a UAV up but I don't care I want that Griffin to be honest I could have shot him I didn't the reason why is uh, I didn't have a clear line of sight please don't block assault max don't uh, you got the Griffin already right do I need to help out I don't no, I'd rather go for this guy hell yeah let's get that Nova Let's uh, light up that Nova, because then it will explode in a nice fiery ball of death. Also, we are getting shot from the right side. Okay. Yeah, that's... Uh, is it fine for me? Oh, that's a lot of assault mix. Oh, hello. He's too far away, though. I'm barely out of range. I don't dare pushing them, though. Uh, yeah, we go for the Nova first. No, we don't. 
Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Again, we have to play smart here. We have to make our decisions very deliberately. Because uh, one misstep and we are dead. That's one. Jumping, 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 jumping. No, nothing here. That was a PPC from the outskirts. Oh, really? Okay. Our twist, our pitch angle is not good enough for that. That's two, that's three. And one more, and one more. And you can see side trolls are popping left and right. And mechs are popping left and right. Uh, kill the guys in the trench quickly, guys. I do not want to do it alone. Okay, and I'm hot anyway, so I'm fine. Uh, I'm kind of blocked. Oh, I want to maneuver, guys. Careful with your positioning. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Again, maneuverability, mobility. This is so damn important for me. Uh, especially in an assault mech. Got that guy. And we need to keep a little cooldown period here, I guess. <laughs> oh, we just go in. You know what? We just go in. I want to get some more kills here. We are 8-2. I think it's safe to say that we won the video game. So let's better get some more damage on the guys. Look at the center. How it popped. No, I thought he was moving again. He wasn't. Damn it. Everybody's just dying left and right. It's just so crazy. The game escalates so hard. Actually, in this situation, yeah, I should have gone for a regular vision. Sorry for all of you guys who don't like heat vision. Um, it had to be done. You know, I'm getting snowblind when I'm taking a look at that map for too long. And I don't want to hurt my eyes so much. This is an interesting slope. You can actually scuttle your way up here, right? Can you? No, I think you need jump jets still. Yeah, so this is the center of the map, the usual canyon network. What's wrong with you? We had to have a lot of eyes there. Oh, you're a kind of a chaos abomination. I see. All right. Um, yeah, but I don't think that we will get to that rifleman in time. I was really trying to get up there and then, you know, keep going. But look at this cluster <clears throat> thing here. It is a uh, very, very bad. Now, LBX, uh, small lasers, that is a light engine. So, uh, Rifleman, will he kill our guy? I think he's fighting that Vulcan there, right? No, he's getting he's getting eaten up by light Max, but that's fine. But yeah, that's uh, how we do it. We shoot SRMs. We shoot two bursts, we shoot three bursts, we shoot four bursts of uh, four SRMs, and then the enemy should be dead. And uh, that's what you do. And then you cool down and you repeat. It's a crazy build, I know. It's very, very straightforward. But straightforward isn't necessarily bad. <laughs> no, we had one killing blow only. Uh, but four assists, three kill most damage dealt. 723 damage done with three components destroyed. That's your daily dose for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.